Alright, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on using ZipForms Mobile on your iPad along with Sign and Send, the app Sign and Send. First thing you want to do is go and make sure you uh, download that app, Sign and Send, and then go to the car.org website. Again, that's car.org website. It's the California Association of Realtors. Go down to the lower right hand corner, you'll see ZipForm 6, click Learn More if you haven't done this already. The lower left hand corner you'll see zip form mobile in this menu over here tap zip form mobile it'll come up and then you click there and you buy it it's a 9.95 a year nine dollars and 95 cents a year i believe it's prorated as well so depending on when you buy it it's you know they're going to adjust the cost um, appropriately once you do that then it'll send you an email con confirming that you've set up your zip forms mobile and then you uh, click on that link in the email and it'll take you to the ZipForm mobile website which is m.zipformonline.com and they'll give you a link of course once you once you down or once you go to that website which it's a mobile site ZipForms for the mobile device is not an application you're not going to find it in the app store you're only going to be able to go to it via this m.zipformonline.com when you the first time you do that just go to the top right hand corner up here where that arrow is and add that bookmark or add it to home screen and then it'll set up a little icon on your iPad or your iPhone so you can get to it any time once you get into it you can go in here and click new and create a new transaction just like you would on uh, zip forms on your computer type in the name it's listing lease or purchase residential Apply to you can apply a template if you have a template set up. Once you do that, then you can add forms. So I'll go back to transactions. You can select your transaction, and now I'm in one of my test transactions. And you can click add form. Once you add, once you click add form, it'll take you to all these choices. But you're going to go to CAR forms, and there's all the forms you need. So if you need a counter offer, you can just come down here and click counter offer. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six multiple offers, etc. Click that and it'll drop it right into your transaction. Then you go back to your transactions and I'm going to click again on my transaction here. My test transaction and I'm going to do, just do a sample. So here's an extension of time addendum. So I'm going to click on that and if I want to edit that form, I just click right here, this little box, edit, and it'll bring the contract up. Just tap wherever you want to type the information. There's just type there and the keyboard will come up and you can start typing all the information. Real simple, just like the version on the computer. Now on the iPhone, you can create a contract as well, but it's going to make it in this uh, fast fill, which personally I don't like very much. Um, some agents um, like it, but it just seems a little bit more difficult where you have to fill in all these, um, all these little blanks here for all the information in the contract. It's, to me, it's a lot easier to just use the form view which once you set it there it's just automatically going to go there from that point forward so you've completed the contract you're happy with it you click save since I didn't change anything it's just not going to do anything here go back to my transactions now that I saved it or you can just click review I'm going to go back here which is where a lot of you will end up uh, the way you'll end up doing it click the oops I'm going to go back Go back to my transaction, go back to the uh, extension of time addendum. When I click on that, that little box is going to come up. You're going to click view. View is going to bring up that form that's all completed now. If you're happy with it, tap it in the upper right hand corner. You're going to see open in iBooks or open in dot dot dot. Click open in dot dot dot. After you've, since you've already downloaded sign and send, Sign and Send is going to come up. iBook, Sign and Send. I have a faxing program on here where I can fax this directly out as well. Um, it's another video, but it's uh, the one that I found out there is called Jotnot Fax, J O T N O T F A X. So you can just fax straight from here as well. But I'm going to click Sign and Send because I want to sign it on the iPad. It exports it right into the app, Sign and Send. Take two fingers and you just slide it up. If you use one, it's going to put marks or put your little text box or whatever you have it set to automatically so you don't want to do that use two fingers to scroll it up come up here tap the pen 
and tap the color pen. So I'm going to use blue pen. Once you do that, use your stylus. You can get it any uh, tech store, Best Buy, Fry's, Radio Shack, pretty much anywhere. Between 10 and 20 bucks for these things. It's got a little round uh, tip that will work on the iPad and the iPhone. Hand it to the client or if it's you signing, you can even use your finger if you want, but it comes out better with the pen. Then you just sign it and then you take the date and then you put a date right here. So let's say 11, 23, 11. Tap again and it looks great. So now you've completed your contract. Have uh, the other people sign it if you have more signers. Click send. It's going to export it into a PDF file. Then you choose, you want to send it to your email. I have Dropbox set up here. There's other apps you can send it to. If I click that, it'll take me to the other apps if I want to send it somewhere else. But I just want to email it. Maybe you're emailing it to your transaction coordinator, your admin, your assistant, uh, into transaction point, whatever. Click up here, type in the email address where you want it to go. Tap there. I like to take out this little advertisement for sign and send. I just think it's uh, it's more professional not to have it there. Go ahead and type a little message to whoever it's going to. You can set the subject to whatever you want it to be. Click send. Boom, you've sent the contract out. Now, you go to your email. I just sent it to myself, so I'll show you what it looks like on the other end. So it takes a second for it to pop up here. I think I already have a sample. There it is. Tap it. The email will come up with the with the form. There it is. There it is. Signature looks perfect looks great squeeze it down that's what it looks like and you're done now you can even go back up here and resend it someplace else if you wanted to fax it that's how you use sign and send with other documents that people are sending to you so, so if somebody sent you this contract you just click the little arrow on the upper right hand side open it again and sign to send so you need to sign it again do the same exact process whoops sorry I had it on text tap the pen I'm back sign it you're back in business send it again so that's how you use uh, Sign and Send with ZipForms Mobile. Hope uh, you start using it.